Hello and welcome. The topic of our devotion is finding emotional healing in the Bible. As we've explored the themes of physical and spiritual healing in the Bible, it's essential to also acknowledge the profound emotional healing that God offers. Life often brings us experiences that weigh heavily on our hearts and minds. Pain, grief, anxiety, fear, and other emotional struggles can overwhelm us, leaving us feeling broken and alone. These wounds may not be visible, but they are just as real and impactful as any physical ailment. Yet, the Bible is rich with assurances that God is intimately aware of our emotional pain and is fully committed to healing us in the deepest parts of our being. Throughout Scripture, we see God's compassion for the hurting, His willingness to walk with us through our darkest moments, and His promise to restore our souls. Whether we are grappling with loss, battling anxiety, or carrying the weight of unresolved guilt, God extends His hand to us, offering comfort, peace, and the restoration of our hearts. The emotional healing that God provides is not just about removing pain, it is about bringing us to a place of wholeness and peace where we can experience the fullness of life that He intends for us. His healing touches every aspect of our being, transforming our sorrow into joy, our despair into hope, and our anxiety into peace. As we turn to Him, we can find the strength and courage to face our emotional struggles, knowing that we are not alone and that God is with us every step of the way, ready to heal and restore our wounded hearts. 1. God's promise of emotional healing. The Bible is a source of profound comfort, offering numerous promises that speak directly to God's care for our emotional wounds. One of the most reassuring verses is Psalm 34 verse 18, which tells us the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This verse vividly portrays God as a loving presence who draws near to us in our pain. It emphasizes that when our hearts are shattered and our spirits feel crushed under the weight of life's burdens, God is not distant or indifferent. Instead, He is actively involved in our healing process, offering His comfort, strength, and peace. This assurance of God's proximity is a powerful reminder that we are never alone in our struggles. God sees our pain, understands our sorrow, and is committed to walking with us through every emotional storm. Another powerful promise of emotional healing is found in Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 3, where the prophet Isaiah speaks of the mission of the Messiah. He declares that the Lord has anointed him to bind up the brokenhearted and to comfort all who mourn. This passage underscores God's deep desire to heal our emotional wounds, to mend the hearts that have been broken by life's hardships. The imagery here is one of profound restoration. God doesn't just offer a temporary fix for our pain. He brings a complete and transformative healing that turns our mourning into joy and our despair into hope. The promise that God will give them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair is a testament to His ability to bring beauty out of our deepest sorrows and to restore our hearts in ways we never thought possible. Through these promises, the Bible assures us that emotional healing is part of God's plan for us. He is not only concerned with our physical well-being but is equally devoted to the restoration of our hearts and minds. Whether we are grieving a loss, battling anxiety, or feeling overwhelmed by the stresses of life, God invites us to bring our emotional wounds to Him. He promises to be close to us, to comfort us, and to bring healing that is deep, lasting, and transformative. 2. Jesus Christ's ministry of emotional healing During his earthly ministry, Jesus consistently reached out to those who were emotionally hurting, offering them the comfort, hope, and peace that only he could provide. His actions and words were a bomb to those who were grieving, despairing, or anxious, demonstrating that emotional healing is a key aspect of his redemptive work. One of the most striking examples of Jesus' compassionate ministry is found in Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, where he extends a deeply personal and comforting invitation, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. This invitation is remarkable in its tenderness and inclusivity. 
Jesus doesn't limit his call to a specific group of people, rather he opens his arms to all who are burdened, whether by the weight of life's demands, the pain of loss, the struggles of anxiety, or the heavy yoke of guilt and shame. He recognizes the emotional toll that these burdens take on us and offers a solution that is both simple and profound, come to me. In this call, Jesus promises rest, not just physical rest, but a deep, soul-satisfying rest that reaches into the very core of our being. The imagery of taking on Jesus' yoke is particularly powerful. In ancient times, a yoke was a wooden beam used to pair two animals together for plowing or carrying loads, symbolizing shared burden and guidance. When Jesus invites us to take his yoke, he is offering to share our burdens, to walk alongside us in our struggles, and to guide us with his gentle and humble heart. Unlike the yokes of this world that often weigh us down, Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light because it is carried with love and compassion. Jesus' gentle and compassionate nature assures us that we can come to him with our deepest emotional wounds, knowing that he will never turn us away. Whether we are struggling with grief, fear, anxiety, or any other emotional pain, Jesus invites us to bring our troubles to him. He doesn't promise that we will never face hardships again, but he does promise that in him we will find the rest and peace that our souls desperately need. Throughout his ministry, Jesus demonstrated this promise time and again. He comforted those who mourned like Mary and Martha when they grieved the death of their brother Lazarus. He brought hope to the despairing like the woman at the well who found new life after encountering Jesus. He calmed the fears of the anxious like the disciples who were terrified in the storm. In every interaction, Jesus showed that he is deeply concerned with the state of our hearts and minds and that he is fully capable of bringing the emotional healing we need. This ministry of emotional healing continues today as Jesus invites us to come to him with our burdens and find rest in his loving arms. His invitation is open to all and his promise is sure when we come to him we will find the peace and healing that only he can provide. 3. The role of faith in emotional healing. Faith plays a pivotal role in our journey toward emotional healing. The Bible consistently teaches us to trust in God's goodness and sovereignty even in the midst of our most profound emotional pain. This trust is not a passive acceptance of our circumstances, but an active, deliberate choice to lean on God's wisdom and understanding rather than our own. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 provides a powerful encouragement, trust in the Lord with all your heart, then lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. These verses remind us that when we surrender our emotional struggles to God, He faithfully guides us toward healing and peace. Trusting in the Lord with all our heart means placing our emotional wounds in His hands, acknowledging that He knows what is best for us, even when we cannot see the way forward. Emotional pain can cloud our judgment, leading us to feel lost, overwhelmed, or even hopeless. Yet, God invites us to lean on Him, to allow His wisdom to direct our steps, and to believe that He is working for our good even in the darkest moments of our lives. The story of Hannah in 1 Samuel 1 is a profound illustration of emotional healing through faith. Hannah's deep distress over her inability to conceive a child was a source of immense sorrow and shame in a culture that placed great importance on motherhood. Year after year, her pain was compounded by the taunts of her husband's other wife, Panina, who had children. Yet, instead of turning away from God in her bitterness, Hannah turned toward him with raw honesty. She poured out her soul before the Lord, weeping and praying with such intensity that Eli, the priest, initially mistook her for being drunk. Hannah's prayer was not just a plea for a child, it was a profound expression of her faith. She acknowledged her pain before God and trusted him with her deepest longing. In her prayer, Hannah made a vow that if God granted her a son, she would dedicate him to the Lord's service for his entire life. This act of surrender was a turning point in Hannah's emotional journey. By placing her trust in God's will, rather than clinging to her own understanding or desires, Hannah opened the door for God to bring emotional healing into her life. God responded to Hannah's faith not only by granting her request but also by healing her heart. 
Before her prayer was even answered, the Bible tells us that Hannah's countenance changed. She left the temple no longer downcast, but with a renewed sense of peace. This transformation illustrates the power of faith in the healing process. Hannah's trust in God allowed her to experience emotional healing even before her circumstances changed. Hannah's story teaches us that we can bring our deepest sorrows and emotional wounds to God, trusting Him to heal us in His perfect timing. Faith does not always lead to immediate answers or solutions, but it does lead to a deeper relationship with God where we can find comfort, strength, and peace in His presence. When we trust God with our emotional pain, we invite Him to work in our hearts, bringing healing that goes beyond the surface to restore our inner being. This process of emotional healing through faith is not always easy, but it is transformative. As we continue to trust in God, submit our ways to Him, and lean on His understanding, He faithfully makes our path straight, guiding us through the valleys of emotional pain and into the light of His healing love. For the healing power of prayer, prayer is a vital tool in seeking emotional healing, serving as a direct line of communication between us and God. Throughout the Bible, prayer is portrayed not just as a religious ritual but as a heartfelt conversation with the Creator who cares deeply about every aspect of our lives, including our emotional well-being. The Psalms, often referred to as the Bible's prayer book, provide countless examples of this kind of emotional honesty before God. In Psalm 62 verse 8, we are encouraged, trust in Him at all times, O people, pour out your heart before Him, God is a refuge for us. This verse is a powerful invitation to bring our emotional pain, fears, and sorrows before God in prayer, trusting Him as our safe haven and healer. The act of pouring out our hearts before God is not just about venting our frustrations or listing our grievances, it is about placing our trust in Him even when life feels overwhelming. God is described as our refuge, a place of safety and protection where we can find solace and strength. In this sacred space of prayer, we are free to express our deepest emotions, knowing that God listens with compassion and understanding. This kind of prayer is transformative because it allows us to shift our burdens onto God, acknowledging that He is strong enough to carry them and wise enough to guide us through them. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul offers a powerful prescription for dealing with anxiety and emotional turmoil through prayer. In Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, Paul writes, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This passage reveals the profound connection between prayer and peace, highlighting how turning our concerns over to God can lead to emotional healing. Paul's advice begins with a clear directive, do not be anxious about anything. This is not a call to ignore or suppress our anxieties, but rather an invitation to bring them before God in prayer. The phrase in every situation emphasizes that there is no circumstance too trivial or too overwhelming for God to handle. By bringing our anxieties, fears, and emotional struggles to God in prayer, we are actively engaging in a process of emotional healing. The act of prayer, coupled with thanksgiving, is a powerful antidote to anxiety. When we pray with a heart of gratitude, we shift our focus from our problems to God's goodness and faithfulness. This shift in perspective can bring about a deep sense of peace and even in the midst of difficult circumstances. The promise attached to this practice is that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is not dependent on the resolution of our problems, but is a supernatural gift from God that surpasses human comprehension. God's peace acts as a guard over our hearts and minds, protecting us from the negative emotions that threaten to overwhelm us. When we pray, we invite this peace into our lives, allowing it to shield us from the turmoil and distress that often accompany emotional pain. This peace is not just a temporary relief, but a lasting assurance that God is in control even when our circumstances seem out of control. It is a reminder that God is with us, offering comfort, strength, and healing in the midst of our emotional struggles. 
Prayer, therefore, is not just a means of seeking solutions to our problems, it is a powerful tool for emotional healing. It allows us to connect with God on a deeply personal level to share our innermost thoughts and feelings than to receive His peace in return. Through prayer, we find the strength to face our emotional challenges, the comfort to endure them, and the healing to overcome them. As we continue to bring our hearts before God in prayer, we experience His transforming power, which brings peace to our minds and healing to our souls. 5. Healing through the Word of God God's Word is an extraordinary source of emotional healing, offering comfort, guidance, and hope to those who are hurting. The Bible is more than just a collection of ancient texts, it is a living and active source of divine wisdom that speaks directly to our emotional needs. In Psalm 119 verse 50, the psalmist declares, This is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. This verse encapsulates the profound comfort that comes from knowing and trusting in God's promises. When we are afflicted by emotional pain, whether it be grief, anxiety, fear, or loneliness, God's word becomes a lifeline, offering the healing and renewal we desperately need. The scriptures are filled with promises that breathe life into our weary souls. These promises remind us of God's unwavering love, His faithfulness, and His power to restore us. When we are emotionally wounded, turning to the Bible can provide the solace and encouragement we seek. The Word of God is described as living and active, Hebrews 4 verse 12, meaning that it has the power to penetrate our hearts, discern our deepest thoughts and emotions, and bring healing where it is needed most. The more we engage with Scripture, the more we allow God's truth to permeate our minds and hearts, leading to deep emotional restoration. Meditating on Scripture is a key practice in the journey toward emotional healing. To meditate on God's Word means to ponder it deeply, allowing it to sink into our hearts and influence our thoughts. When we meditate on Scripture, we create space for God's truth to replace the lies and negative thoughts that often accompany emotional pain. For example, when feelings of fear or anxiety arise, meditating on verses like Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, can bring a profound sense of peace and reassurance. These truths remind us that God is always with us, providing strength and support in our darkest moments. Memorizing key verses is another powerful way to experience emotional healing through God's Word. When we commit scripture to memory, we carry it with us wherever we go, making it readily available in times of need. The act of memorization allows us to internalize God's promises, making them a part of our very being. In moments of emotional distress, having scripture at the forefront of our minds can provide immediate comfort and direction. For instance, memorizing verses like Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, it equips us with a powerful tool to combat anxiety and find peace. Allowing God's Word to shape our thoughts and emotions is central to experiencing lasting emotional healing. Our thoughts have a profound impact on our emotions, and when we align our thoughts with God's truth, we begin to see transformation in our emotional lives. Romans 12 verse 2 encourages us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, which happens as we immerse ourselves in God's Word. As we consistently read, meditate on, and memorize scripture, our minds are renewed and our emotions are brought into alignment with God's truth. This process leads to healing as we replace harmful thought patterns with life-giving truths from scripture. The Bible is filled with stories of individuals who experienced emotional healing through their encounters with God's word. For example, the prophet Jeremiah found hope and encouragement in the midst of his deep despair by recalling God's promises, Lamentations 3 verses 21 to 23. Similarly, the psalmists often turned to God's word for comfort and strength in their times of trouble. These examples remind us that no matter what emotional challenges we face, God's word offers the healing and restoration we need.
The word of God is a powerful and essential tool in the process of emotional healing. It provides comfort in times of distress, guidance when we are lost, and hope when we are discouraged. By meditating on scripture, memorizing key verses, and allowing God's word to shape our thoughts and emotions, we can experience profound emotional restoration. As we immerse ourselves in God's promises, we find the strength and courage to face our emotional challenges with faith and hope, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. In conclusion, emotional healing is a journey that requires faith, prayer, and a deep connection to God's Word. The Bible assures us that God is close to the brokenhearted and desires to heal our emotional wounds. As we bring our emotional pain to Him, trusting in His promises and His timing, we can experience the fullness of His healing power in our hearts and minds. Let's pray, Heavenly Father, we come before you today, acknowledging the emotional pain and burdens we carry. We ask for your healing touch in our hearts and minds, trusting that you are our refuge and strength. Help us to surrender our worries, fears, and sorrows to you, knowing that you care deeply for us. Fill us with your peace and restore our joy as we rest in your loving presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.